I want to preface this for you correctly, which means I want to lay a foundation before any presenters come up today and give you all their knowledge, ideas, and strategies for success. Before they get there, I need you to know a few things about how the process works. And so I want you to start thinking about today customers, clients, if you will, whatever you call them. I mean, we call them customers, clients, depending on, on your I guess the acronyms are things that you use within your business. But I want you to start thinking about people today because ultimately they're the reason we're here today. We've talked about that yesterday in creating the memorable or the remarkable experience for your customer. Well, now let's talk about, God bless you. Let's start thinking about the actual people. I want you to start visualizing people. And that may include yourselves, that may include your immediate family, your children, your spouse, your significant other, your cousins, your brothers. Those, those people that are around you every day are either looking for a product or already have access because they've purchased somewhere else a product that you're going to be discussing today. And I want you to start thinking about them because this is your first, this is your first point of contact when you get back home. You already do or prepare rather taxes for, for literally hundreds, if not thousands of people. You've already got contacts that we don't know about. And then you go home and you say, well, David, where do I start? Well, let's start thinking about it now. So when you get home, you don't have to think about where you start. You actually go start. You actually go out and start doing some stuff, if you know what I mean. And I can replace that stuff word with a lot of stuff, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> you actually get out there and do something. Our, our goal here is not to just inspire you to go back motivated and not do anything, right? Because you can motivate anybody. You can motivate an idiot, right? You know what happens when you motivate an idiot? You just got a motivated idiot. do not really think. <laughs> right? That's, that's all you got. We're not here to motivate idiots. We're here to motivate some really great people to go out and take action. <laughs> We're here to take some action. I want some action takers. You can't come here and not make money from this. You've invested your time, your energy, and your resources to get here. We've brought down some spectacular trainings and some people that have put together some great resources for your, for your viewing and, and use. And I don't want you to leave here not being able to do something. So let's start thinking about some of the customers that you'll be talking with, working with over the next week, months, and years. So, Here's some, here's some key things to remember as we go through today. Number one, take a, a tremendous amount of notes. Copious notes, if you will. If you're not a great note taker, write down whatever you think you should write down. And uh, I ask our presenters to say, I'd write that down if I were you. <laughs> that may help some of you. This is not a, this is not you know, class anymore. This isn't high school or this isn't college. You know, they teach you theory. We want to teach you some applications. So take, take some good notes. Pay attention. Be present. Today, if I were to share with you anything about any of the products that we offer within Freedom, today is the big money products. These are the products that will support you in a, on, a, on a grander level. If you're looking to add any other products in your business, this is one you need to offer, but this will support all the others. If I were to envision a, a future for your business and say, what is the percentage of revenue that we generated in insurance in any of your offices today, I'd tell you that life insurance and financial services are probably going to make 40 to 50% of that revenue stream. And that's to even overcome tax business. As we discussed yesterday, we talked about the vision of adding financial services, taxes, insurance, and loans into your stores. Well, if I look at it, I really believe that taxes will be your dessert. It'll be the extra money, the vacation money in the next few years. But we have to understand that financial services are under, under offered, if you will, or under or not underperforming, under offered to our customers today. There are less life insurance agents today than have ever been before. Just so you know, less than ever been before. And you would think with the rapid growth of population and the expansion of you know, opportunities of information, you would think there'd be more, but there's less. Average life, man, the average age of a life insurance agent is 57 years old. So they're reaching what we'll call retirement age. We can say that, by the way, God bless you, for those of you who are CPAs or those who know CPAs, CPAs also are aging as well. 
less and less people go into that field. Just so you know, less and less people every year go into the CPA world. More people are focused on accounting and finance than ever before. But there's different sides of accounting and finance today, which is financial services, which we're talking about today. Our business is going to grow because of you, because of the, the, the effort and energy you're going to put in today. I, I believe wholeheartedly that this is a huge segment of the market that's underserved and is not being, not just not served, but just not being talked to. I mean, just even from an educational standpoint, we're not talking to our customers about these things, and yet we have more financial information about a customer than anybody else. Insurance agents alike, not us, but others. Financial planners would dream about getting the information that you have at your fingertips. They dream about it. They really do. We have vendors from all over the country that seek out our, our tax businesses all the time to ask us for information because they can't get access to it. In fact, one of our major vendors, which is Market Maps, if any of you guys know who Market Maps are, where we can actually do research on each market, if you use Market Maps, the data that you see within there is primarily from Liberty Tax customer data. I mean, they are literally building a business around our data because we have so much of it, it's unbelievable. I know who your kids are, I know how old they are, I know where they go to school in most cases because I have to get supporting documentation. I know how much money you have in the bank account because you have to give me an interest statement. I know what retirement savings accounts you have because I can see it on your W-2. I know if you have anything outside of that. The only thing I don't know is if you have life insurance and I can find that out just by simply asking. <laughs> Because you've already trusted me with everything else. You've already given me everything else. Studies show that people trust their tax professional more than they trust their financial advisor. Isn't that crazy? So now that you know these things, it's your job, it's your duty, it's your obligation and responsibility to go out and actually show these clients that you know what you're doing and that you have something for them to use and be successful. In today's talks, we're going to be covering from the simplest of insurance to what we call term, to very complex strategies for business owners. So you're gonna see a whole gamut of things. And some of you may think, well, David, this is probably not something that I'd ever offer or something I don't understand or something way above my head. I can tell you, you're probably right because we have a presenter here today that'll probably say something I don't even know what he's saying. <laughs> see, honest truth, but it's okay because you know what? I, I don't need to know it all. I just need to understand a little bit so that if a customer comes in, we have resources. We got our team that can help you through those processes. So there's never going to be a case, if you will, or an instance where you'll be dealing with a customer that you can't handle the business. Just this morning, for an example, I'm working with a company that has over 75 employees who is structuring a, what we'll call it a, a retirement plan for their company, where they'll be funding this plan over half a million dollars a year. And I haven't even told Steve this, so we got to figure something out. I mean, I'm, I'm working something for them because they're going to do this. I mean, half a million dollars a year, guys. Now, that's what their, contrib their contributions are. I mean, you guys could be making 1%, 2% of that every year for just managing that account. 2% of half a million dollars is a huge number. And it grows annually because as they distribute, they keep putting money in the bucket. Every year, next year, it's a million. Next year, it's 1.5 million. Next year, it's three, I mean, 2 million and so on and so forth. You guys could be growing some big money. We want to help you do these things. And you're probably thinking, well, David, I don't know any of these people. I don't know what they're doing and how they do it. It's totally fine. I just need you to come here today with an open mind to understand that there are things that we don't know, but we need to know. And maybe your target market isn't a business owner. Maybe your target market is, you know, Susie, single mom, two children, nurse. Perfect. Not only are they great tax customers, those are great life insurance customers. They're great retirement customers. Maybe it's a teacher. We have one of our, our director here. Well, one of ours, our, our director for financial services and life planning, and he was a former teacher, and I'm going to hope he shares a little bit about his story. Teachers are great, great resources to be talking to. These, these individuals are hardworking. They deserve to be compensated more. They don't. They have retirement structured plans that are not going to take care of them in their real final years. Their actual income goes down instead of up. And we have plans that can help them structure that so that they don't take a dip in income. And in fact, in most cases, take an increase in income when they retire. 
These are structured plans that we can help them with. And I'm giving you examples so you can start thinking about the creative ways that your mind can work as these gentlemen come up and present their plans to you. Because if you're not prepared to take the information, you won't take it right. And that's why I say take copious notes, you know, copy off your neighbor if you have to. <laughs> Hopefully it's the right neighbor. <laughs> What's for lunch, right? <laughs> That's probably not the notes you need to be reading, but we do have some good lunch. I don't know what's today, I forget, but we have some good lunch. We have some good lunch. So, I've got a, I've got a few key announcements for the day uh, before we even get to this. And we go on break for, for a minute while we have somebody come set up. But here, here, um, here at Freedom, we like to do a lot of things that are about branding and as well as, as marketing. I believe every business today needs to maximize every, every single opportunity to market their business and grow. And here's some recommendations today that I would tell you that we should do today. So before we go on break, I want you to, to think about what you could do and post on social media that will build some credibility in your business. See, you're here spending three days, one days for some of you, two days for some of you, but you're spending time learning something. And one of the things that we're not capitalizing on is your presence in the marketplace. You see, you're here right now. Who knows you're here? Does anybody know you're here besides your family? By the way, I mean, your immediate family probably is not buying anything from you. <laughs> so they're not your target market, if you will. It might be your extended family, but not your immediate family. You're not going to go home and say, honey, let me sell you a life insurance policy. I mean, you might, but she might be worried at that point. Or, or, <laughs> or he may be worried. <laughs> Let's be real about this, right? Uh, so I'd encourage you during our break today to, to go social, post something on Facebook, check in here at Freedom Financial Centers. Go social, post a picture of you and maybe each other, take a selfie. Now, if, if you're not a social media uh, guru of sorts or a social media person, I would tell you, if you're not, it's okay. You can live in the dark ages. That's totally fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. But I'm going to tell you, social media makes you a lot of money if you really use it right. And I, I wish we had enough time. I could bring Dan in here to do a social media training. I, it's not something we have scheduled for this event, but I probably will bring Dan tonight to dinner. If you haven't had the opportunity to meet Daniel Thapia, he's our social scientist and he actually has strategies that'll help you grow your business. So if you have questions on social media, we can help you with that too.